Why, mm-hmm. why am I here? <laughs> yeah. What the hell have I gotten myself into? Yeah. Do, uh, do we need to shower? Do I need to wash you? Yeah, exactly. Make you Let's make it romantic. Again? Let me lie yeah. and say this is a romantic fucking thing because I just want you uh, clean. And I got the. Uh, I bet you I got some more favor. Turbine points. Got mail. Oh, it could be. I don't sell stuff on the server. Oh, I don't have mail. What have you been doing behind my back? Nothing. I don't. Don't worry about it. Don't talk about her. What? She, she needs nothing. What? She who? What? Nothing. Go over to the tavern, which is awesome. He loves us so much. Does what he? Are gonna, what are we gonna do whenever he quits because we suck? Be sad. Anybody else up there? Nope, they're dead. Good. Good job. This is. I really like the artifacts in this little. I don't know. Like, cavern right here, the water rippling off the ceiling and walls. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Very good. Very well done. Yeah, they call it something. Artesian something or other. There you go. Artesian tributary. Has carved away the rock. How beautiful. It is. I yeah. like that effect on the ceiling and stuff. wonder how much would it cost me to have that effect in my house? Talk to the fucking dude who did your ceiling. I'm if, sure he's, we, I'm sure he's handy any, as fuck. Do oh. you have any uh, fucking artesian engineers that watch your channel that could maybe chime in on that one? Uh, if anybody out there is an artesian engineer, if you could... Is, is that even a thing? Do First I, find that out. Let's First, pretend it is. Why do we have yeah. to muddle this with facts? Because we're playing real video games, okay? These are real <laughs> dungeons is, that we're in. Because this matters to me. Yeah. Whatever. Why do you have to make everything think about a fucking game? Well, jokes? you know, if you would... You, you're just so intent on having your own house. Why not move back in with your <laughs> lovely mother and live with her? Move back you in can... with Lori. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <yeah. laughs> God, why would you even say that in jest? That's God. awful. That is because I hate myself. Uh, get your shit straight, but you know, addiction's a bad thing. I mean, fuck. I smoke cigarettes. Yeah. I drink. You know, I'm overweight. Probably technically mm. obese. I would imagine. Probably mm. still I'm even with the weight I lost, but still it's like I'm trying to do something about it. I don't want to just yeah. sit around and do nothing and I mean I'm gonna die eventually, but I'd like a little bit better life than what I've got. Yeah. And not be such a, you know, fucking psychic vampire sucking people's souls out and wanting attention so badly that I say I have horrible things wrong with me when I really don't, just trying to get some attention. Yeah, I don't understand like that's it's a mental it's, illness. They, it they slap in the face to people that are actually have real things going on in their lives. It, it is, and I understand that, and somebody told me that today, as a matter of fact, and said, you know, that's just, it's it's making light of somebody else's plight, somebody else that has that problem, mm -hmm. and you're just saying, yeah, this is a condition or a thing that is going on with me, and it's not, that's a bad thing. And I, yes, it is a bad thing, but why are they doing it? You know, I mean, it's, it's to me, it's, I mean, Mental illness takes a lot of different forms, and I think that might be part of it. And if so, then, you know, get some fucking help. It, you know, if you admit it and you need help, fine. But if you don't go through with the help and try to get things fixed in your life and you're just going to be a piece of shit, then nobody is going to trust you. Nobody's going to like you. Mm -hmm. That's the thing you're going to have to understand. You know, it's like the boy who cried wolf. You do it so many times, people are going to say, just fuck off. Yeah. Basically, basically, I don't care if you're eaten by a wolf. That is the brass tax. Which is pretty bad. You have to be eaten. a pretty giant piece of shit that people don't care if you're eaten. Because that's kind of savage. Mm hmm. Boy, I don't know what to fucking talk about now that we've talked about fucking drugs oh, and life-changing shit. Of, yeah, everything's just it actually is just a joke now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so story kind of that, a story that I saved. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. First session. Mm hmm Um... So Ethan's been living with me for a little bit. Yeah. Um, this has been a couple weeks ago now. Uh, apparently, I sleep like a fucking log. Sure. He, Ethan told me that he got sick one night mm -hmm. and tried to wake me up to let me know that he had thrown up. All right. And I just, I was not, not having any part of being woken up for anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not. So I, uh, I was like, okay, well, I just, you know, I assumed that he, you know, Took care of it, made it to the toilet, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So one day, he, uh, my brother picked him up, and I don't go back into his room 
for anything. I, you know, just give him his own space. I just assumed he's taking care of it. So he got picked up and it's like, well, you know, I'm going to go back there and it is my house. I probably should check the state of my room, make sure the you know, room's not burnt down or anything. Right. So I go in there and the room's just, it's a fucking shithole death trap is what he's turned it into. <laughs> there, are, there are actual traps. And, yeah, there was. I actually, over, you're, you people are lucky that I'm even alive right now to tell the story. Mm -hmm. Um, So I, you know, I called Michael and I'm like, yeah, you need to turn around and get Ethan back here. He's going to clean this room before he sure, goes right. there. Right. So you have him in there, you know, cleaning this up, cleaning that. He just has, you know, piles of dirty clothes everywhere. And, you know, I asked him, you know, what, what if this is dirty, what if this is clean? He lifts up a, uh, a towel, mm. and there is a two-day-old pile of puke underneath the towel that he had just <sighs> fucking left there, left there yep. in my carpet instead of, I don't know, cleaning it up right. ever. So I lost my – I almost choked him to death with an Xbox controller. <laughs> that was – like, that was – you're also lucky you get to hear the story because I'm not in prison right now. Sure, right. For murder, I knew yeah. this um, kid back when I was a kid, so half my life ago. True. Uh, his name was Michael. Mm -hmm. He uh, lived, uh, I guess, basically across the street from uh, another one of my good friends. Anyway, there uh, they had dogs. You might be able to see where this is going. Yeah, I, I, I already never smell been... it in my head. Yes. I already smell it. Yes. Yep. Oh yes. Yep. Um, I had never been in his house before. It was just you know, you know, it just you know, you don't go to somebody's house to go to their house for the first time. Right. So, you know, we went upstairs and it was – you like ha you were having to tiptoe around piles. Yeah. Of shit. And it's yeah. like – and like they just walked around it like it was just like this is normal everyday stuff, guys. Oh, yeah. This is just a facet of the house. It's just like, yeah. you know, hey, our sofa got stuck when we were trying to move it and now it's like a part of the stairs. So you have to climb over that. Yeah. The dog shit is just – that's the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. I and don't... I was just like I will never ever – I don't even want to look. I don't even look at you the same as a human being anymore. No, I don't see how people live like that. I don't get it. Mm. I mean, you know, I see these uh, shows on. Uh, well, I haven't really watched any. I've seen bits and pieces of shows on hoarders and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, if you got like piles of newspapers and piles of this and piles of that, it's like, why? It, it, again, it goes back to like mental illness stuff, like texting when you should be fucking resting. You know, that kind well, of I had, I've had to ask, ask my mom about Ethan's homework real quick. Whatever, I mean, again, whatever excuse you want to validate <laughs> what you're doing, that's fine. <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, that's, that's, I don't know, I've seen people live like that, and it's, it's uh, and I've seen girls live like that too. And yeah, dirty girls. <laughs> very dirty yeah very, not just like in a cool way disgusting. either yeah no not in a cool way like you know i've got fuzzy cuffs it's like yeah. dirty as in you know i have to scrape the barnacles off of my fucking bathtub because you know i need to take mm -hmm. a bath or something it's like why wouldn't you just clean it when it needs to be cleaned like Every yeah, just, before you get into like, it, you know, like maybe once a week. Just you know, how long do you Sunday, how long do you go before you take a fucking shower or bath? Why mm -hmm. why am I here? <laughs> yeah. What the hell have I gotten myself into? Yeah. Do, uh, do we need a shower? Do I need to wash you? Yeah, exactly. Make you Let's make it romantic. Again? Let me lie yeah. and say this is a romantic fucking thing because I just want you uh, clean. Yeah. Uh, I I knew a girl. <laughs> she told me she dated a guy that she, like. That was her excuse to get him to take a shower. Was hey, let's go take a shower together. Jesus Not, Christ. Yeah, you are a stinky fuck who only bathes every three or four days. And honest to God, where are your fucking priorities? Yeah. If I love this person to death, but they smell so much, mm -hmm. it makes me want to fucking puke. Why would you love somebody like that? I don't. But then again, it's like anything else. It's love. Mm -hmm. It's fucking yeah. stupid. We it's were dumb. fucking retarded. It, we are fucking retarded. We overlook stuff like nobody's business, just so mm -hmm. that we feel close to that person. That's just... Ugh. We're... I'm surprised we even made it this far in our history of like how, how fucking pathetic are we as human beings? As, as human species. beings? That's the thing. I mean, animals are just... It's instinct, and humans apply this, you know, this thing to it where it's... It's love. And it's... Yeah, I guess you can, you can say that, but in all actuality, what is it? It's just a, a series of chemical reactions that make you bond with that person for whatever reason. But if you're bonding with somebody who has like scale on their feet <laughs> that has not <laughs> been cleaned for yeah. years on end and oh. you know, they're they're eating out of 
something, some container that they have not washed in four or five days, there might be issues with larva. <laughs> there, there, there might be uh, diseases that you might want to be concerned about. Um, but again, I mean, that's, I don't know, whenever I was younger and I would always see these guys who were fucking assholes going out with these just beautiful fucking girls. Like this one girl mm -hmm. I knew, blonde, blue eyes, if you're into that sort of thing. I don't really give a shit about that now, but she wasn't really my type at the time. But, um, I mean, she was just so nice and so sweet. Mm -hmm. And this guy was just a complete and total fucking dick to her. It's like, he's either got to have crap tons of money or a huge gigantic penis, which, yes. you know, or both, whatever. Yeah, and, both. That's, and that's fine too. But nope, she just really loved the fuck out of the guy. Okay. But I'm, oh my God. And that, that goes back to more drug use and things like that. Trying to talk somebody out of things and then mm -hmm. finding out, oh no, yeah, I, I, you know, thought that, uh, you know, I could bond with him if uh, I started using too. It's like, are you fucking out of your fucking, fucking mind? Are you just a fucking goose is yeah. what you are yeah, exactly so at that point it's like laters <laughs> later yeah. tater i'm donezo 